tail flutter. Oh, here she goes. Hi, it's Friday afternoon and I am taking a half day because I wanted to finally drive out and give that woman a gift. So right now, damn it, I have to get some gas. But after that, I have to go pick up my chocolate covered strawberries and then I'm gonna drive out east to the school, drop my stuff off and then go for a hike. I have puppers in the back with me. So I guess what I've decided to do is I will have her big crate for when she's at home and sleeping where she will be using it the most so she's more comfortable. But from what I can tell actually, the smaller size isn't that bad for her. So I'm going to keep using it for driving, but when I do my road trips, I will definitely be putting the big crate in here because some of these drives are going to be 8 to 20 hours, so I won't have her be in the smaller one for a drive that long. But it's actually quite hot, so I need to blast the AC for her and I need to go get some gas, but let's head out. It's a beautiful Friday. Okay, so I'm an idiot and I totally forgot to bring my ice that I wanted to keep the strawberries cool. Kind of feel like I gotta blast the AC in my car and rush over there so it doesn't melt or anything. But this fucking guy in front of me didn't go when it was green and I wasn't sure if I should honk because I don't know if he saw something that I didn't notice. Okay, what the heck? I am in range of the school. I literally see the entrance to the school and there's people doing construction and they stopped us right here and <laughs> I don't actually see people doing work. I see people, there's a truck on the side of the road, the truck on the side of the road <clears throat> and I don't see drilling or anything so I don't know why we're stopped here but I felt really pressed for time because my strawberries, I don't want them to melt and it was really frustrating earlier because while I was still trying to get out to the Alpine area, Alpine is about 10-20 minutes from my house, it was so slow. It was two lanes on the highway and we were going like 55 to 60 miles per hour. It was driving me crazy. So when I was finally able to get to some freedom space, I was letting loose. I was going like 80 to 85 and my poor car, my poor Prius, has such a struggle going uphill. A lot of past that area is uphill, so it takes a lot for my car to accelerate at that pace. I was also really bad and I didn't confirm the school is open, but it's no holiday. I believe school is in session right now. Oh God, oh God, if school isn't in session right now, I don't remember school schedules and stuff. Okay, I see a truck coming. You see the truck coming. Is that what we've been waiting for this whole time? Anyways, in the meantime, I put my gift together. So here's what it looks like. So I have the box and then I have my letter underneath. And then here's my necklace that I did not open to even look at it because I got a gift wrapped and I didn't think that, you know, I can't seal it while keeping it intact very nicely so I am very excited actually to hand this over I really do hope that she's there I'm kind of hoping that randomly when I walk in the school she might be there in person that'd be very nice but aside from that I was planning on just leaving it at the desk I would tell them to please put it in the fridge of course but I uh, really do hope that it gets to her the sucky thing is I won't know if it manages to get to her because I didn't give her a way to contact me. I thought it might be weird if I just put my phone number there. So I put Michelle Wang from La Mesa. So maybe if she wanted, she could find me on Facebook or something to thank me for it. But aside from that, I could maybe call the school or when I drop it off, I could maybe say like, can I call later? and. If you know her personally, can you let me know what her reaction was? Stuff like that, but... Oh, I see now there's a, <coughs> a train full of cars coming back this way. We've waited pretty long. It's been about 10 minutes, so I'm pretty unhappy about that. I'm getting very antsy, and I want to get Riley out into the wilderness so we can hike. 
But I think this is, we're finally gonna be able to move after this. Well, I'm very sad because they're on spring break. Ah, and since they are on spring break, it means she will not be back in time for my strawberries. Which also means that they're gonna be wasted <laughs> unless I eat them myself. So let's uh let's open this up, shall we? This is what they look like. They're massive strawberries. So I'm gonna have to eat some right now. So sad. I'm legitimate and so sad. Riley is so sad too. Aren't you sad? Ruth? Man, even she's leaving me hanging. I will eat a few of these and then we will head out to hike. That's the plan. Okay, I really hope the wind doesn't get too noisy. I'm sorry about that. Every time I record outside, I get very self-conscious about the wind being noisy and I don't have a good mic setup right now because I haven't been wanting to spend money on that. But <clears throat> interestingly enough, earlier today, I kind of had a dilemma earlier. So the interesting thing and the great thing actually about Riley that I've always known but never experienced it that much was just, you know, her ability to sense people. Whoa, let me take a slow way before I can. So earlier we were going along the path and she kind of started hesitating and then she started coming back to me and staying right next to me. And usually when she does that, I do automatically assume it means that she senses someone approaching. And the reason she does that is because anytime I see someone coming across us, I always call her back to me and I make her walk next to me until we pass them. So she started doing that, but I couldn't see anyone for a while. Like I let her walk next to me for a while and I was like, oh, do you see someone? And I started getting scared, like I always do. I was starting to think like, is this bitch hiding in the bushes waiting to jump me? Do I need to pull out my pepper spray for my backpack that's buried at the very bottom, which makes it useless if something does happen to me. But she did that for a while. And then since I couldn't see anyone, I was like, uh, all right, you can you know, go in front of me like you always do because if she hikes right next to me the whole time, I feel like she's crowding me too much. So. I don't really like it. She started doing it again. So I was like, Jesus Christ, where is this person? So eventually we did come across him. But the interesting thing is, okay, so he had a pack on, so I think maybe he was um, doing the PCT. I think this is part of the PCT and he was overnighting it. He wasn't just doing a day hike like me, but he had um, hiking poles or whatever they're called and he would never acknowledge us walking behind him. And this is a dilemma that I've come across a couple of times while hiking, where I don't know how to politely pass someone without them initiating it first. Obviously, I can just be like, excuse me, can you let me pass? Which I tend, I tend to not do that right away. I kind of wait and see how they behave first. But the weird thing about this guy was he just never turned around and Riley was panting a lot so she was making a lot of noise there's no way someone would not know that someone was following them so I kind of just walked behind him for a while and I was kind of wondering like do I just straight up walk around him which would have sucked because there's not a lot of space on the path and that would be rude if they're not aware of it and he obviously didn't seem aware of it so Eventually, I kind of got close and I was like, hi, excuse me. And I believed I said it in a volume that was um, audible to a normal person. It's not like it's super windy around here or anything. So I'm pretty sure he would have heard it, but he didn't acknowledge it at all. So it makes me wonder, maybe he's deaf. And I just decided I didn't really... I didn't really want to deal with it. I didn't want to trail him the whole time. I didn't want to force myself past him because <clears throat> it's still, I still get very scared out here with strangers and stuff, especially because 
Today, I read an article in New Jersey about how this woman went jogging and her body ended up in a lake and stuff like that. So I decided to turn around, which does kind of suck because it is my day off, right? I came out here to hike, but I actually think I went reasonably far. So I think I've hiked a good chunk today. And plus, Riley seems kind of panty and this hike doesn't have a lot of shade or anything so i think that it might be a good idea to turn around <clears throat> poppers like with her tongue out that far i feel like that generally signifies she's quite hot and i did give her water earlier but you know if we go out two hours by the time we are all the way out there and are about to turn around I feel like it could be too much for her, right? Okay, pups, let's go. <clears throat> but yeah, overall, I am really impressed though that she behaved that way and I was super happy about it because it made me aware of someone that was way far ahead of us. You know, that's so impressive because I feel like we walked a fair amount by the time we reached him and I was like, holy shit, man, dogs are amazing. So. I love the fact that she is here to be my guardian. Pretty hot in my car, but it's actually rather cool down here. So let's see what they look like right now. Not bad. All right, let's rush on home then. <coughs> I am finally home and there was a new, there is a new update for chess today. So I am going to play it right now and Tropical 6 also came out <coughs> God, came out today, so I will be playing that as well. And I will also be playing Sekiro, so I'm kind of excited. It's going to be a gaming-filled weekend for me, but Riley gets time to rest. I'm sure she will be sleeping, and I actually think I will stream a little bit. And now that I'm home, I put these in the fridge. <coughs> <coughs> I put these in the fridge right away when I got home, so... Let's see. I don't think uh, they look that bad. Hmm. They look fine, actually. I'm pretty impressed. They held up pretty well. So I think I'm gonna have some right now. And I just finished playing some auto chess. Auto chess is pretty neat tonight. We got up to six people in a party, but I just won first again. And now I wanna try out Tropico 6. Peppers just had her dinner. Oh. oh yes, and I do want to say something else. I am so, so happy that we are home, unscathed. So happy. I have to say I was a little nervous today because I felt like the circumstances of today were identical to the other day where I had free time during the afternoon and I planned to go out there to hike and it was the same location also. So a lot of things were aligning the same and I'm not someone who obviously thinks too much of deja vu or fate or whatever the heck you want to call it, but I was certainly nervous, but I'm so glad. Puppers, enjoy your dinner. She had chicken and vegetables tonight. Hello, it is Saturday and let's see, today I am anticipating going to the flower fields this is the human-made one, not the one in the desert. Puppers. <laughs> but yeah, we just finished our walk. Aside from that, I still need to go to the dumb pharmacy and get my money back because when I got my inhaler and my antibiotics, I didn't have my pharmacy card, so they charged me full price for both of them, which turned out to be $100. But I'm pretty sure with my discount, it is still like $30 less. So 70 still, which is quite ridiculous, but uh, that's still money. So I want to get that back. I feel like such a farmer or something. I don't know. These hats remind me of a farmer. I folded, <laughs> I folded the rims up because uh, I feel like it's, it's too covering my face if I do this. So I want to farmer it up which I can't do very well with one hand. There we go. Okay, <laughs> now, now I'll go while we have a spy. Spy, Milo. All right, fuck you. Man, 
this really fucking blows, but there is 20 minutes of traffic going up to the Encinitas Carlsbad area, and according to Shane, it's always like that because it goes from two lanes to one, and it's red for quite a while, and I'm kind of bummed actually, because I was really looking forward to going, but I really don't want to sit in red traffic willingly like that so maybe I will find a way to go on a weekday or something but I just don't want to I really don't want to deal with it I mean it's 13 minutes now can always go another day really so um, mm, I guess I actually am feeling really really lazy today all right bubble tea I go that was really lame my uh, grand day of standing in a field of flowers and looking at beautiful colors and being surrounded by fresh aroma failed, unfortunately. I didn't want to go through with the traffic, so I just got lunch, got some Korean food, and I decided to not be lazy and go to the pharmacy and get $30 back. So now I'm back. I gave her another chew toy, a carrot. <laughs> Last time I gave her a whole carrot and she ate all of it. So it's a nice little chew toy for her. I will probably do the usual, play Dota chess or some Tropico. Tropico was fun. I played it pretty late last night. Alrighty, so, oh, my chest area is still a little bit sore and even though I have noticeably improved, I would say, in health, for sure, <laughs> I have also been in a very bad cycle of not cooking. <coughs> not cooking at home at all. I have been buying out for a lot of my meals, and I don't have groceries at home today, so I am going to pick up some sushi for dinner get some bubble tea. How to Train Your Dragon 3 is actually out and I figured I will watch it tonight out of curiosity. I haven't watched a movie in several days and I'd say my movie watching for this entire month has been very low. So I'll do some of that. Admittedly, playing some Tropico 6 can be a little boring at times because sometimes I'm waiting for them to give me a task to do. And then I just end up fast forwarding through my time very quickly. So my crops grow, so my money comes in, all of that stuff. And sometimes when you're there waiting for the time to pass, it's just not very fun. So I was getting a little bored of it earlier. So I switched to chess and then I just got done walking Riley, which I was very happy to get in because today was a very nice day, but I'd say during the peak of the afternoon, it was a little bit too hot for her. So I wanted to wait until it got cooler and it was very very nice earlier i will head over and pick it up okay so yesterday i tried to go to the flower fields right and turns out there's a lot of traffic but today let me take a look again i don't think there's any traffic which will be fantastic it's also hotter today which might suck but you know what i really looked forward to going yesterday so oh my god all right, fuck it, I'll deal with this traffic because <clears throat> when I checked, when I woke up, there was nothing, now there's something, but whatever. I'll deal with it because I wanna go. But another thing, so I received this invitation to my friend's wedding. Look how cute they are, they're adorable. And I got it in the mail so long ago, but I neglected to open it because I was like, oh yeah, I'm going. I don't need to open this shit. But apparently he would very much like for me to mail back my response. So I am gonna fill this out. Um, I don't know why the M is already there. Am I supposed to put my name? I guess I'll put my name. I am so confused. Is this how you fill it out? <laughs> I guess so, whatever. So he already, he provided a nice envelope with a stamp attached. And this reminds me of when I used to 
email celebrities, I would provide one of these so they can just sign my picture and send it back without having to put any effort into it. So now I will drop this off as I go. I haven't eaten anything yet today, so I was gonna pick something up. I'm kind of craving a McMuffin, even though it's lunchtime. I think it should be fine. All right, I'm going to head out. Finally, I have arrived. Finally made it out here. The drive was so bad. I tend to forget that 20 minutes of red traffic is actually very, very not fun. But this place is so packed. There's a billion fucking people here. So I am trying my best to walk through areas where there's nobody. So I am pretty much going up. There's like two uh, rows of areas you can walk in and then in between is the flower fields. So most of the flowers are over there, no shade. So I think I made the poor choice of forgetting to put on sunblock. Honestly, I never put on sunblock. I never think to do it. It is not a habit that I'm used to, but I really should because protecting your skin is very important. And I apologize for my panting. This is sad. It's like I just got here. I shouldn't be tired already, but I'm glad I finally made it out here. I feel like I was letting the traffic dissuade me too much. And yeah, it would probably be better if I came here on a weekday, but that's just not gonna work for me. I have work. I don't wanna take a day off for something like this. So I'll just deal with the crowd. And I need an aerial view of this. I kind of forgot that when you're on the ground with the flowers, it doesn't look as nice because you don't get to see all the rows of them. I don't know if we can see all the way down there, but you can tell it looks really nice, but I'm sure once I get there, I won't get that type of view anymore. It's so beautiful out here. Now look at this random yellow flower amongst the pink ones. So freaking pretty. There's a freaking line so you could sit there and take a picture with the flowers. Damn people. Now we're in the yellow lane. Hey, I'm seven. I think this row looks the best. There's like a mixture of yellow, orange, and pink flowers. It looks so nice. Flowers directly behind me. It looks really nice from this angle. I am in the far end of the field, so I have some privacy to myself. Um, I will say that I am getting a little bit more comfortable at just tunnel visioning my camera and speaking and worrying less about people and whatever. Um, I, <laughs> I feel like it has been super slow for me to feel comfortable recording in public. Sometimes when I come to places like this, I can feel a little disappointed because I forget what society cares about or how they behave and it sucks to be around that because you just notice there are tons of people that line up to take a picture in one specific area and then they do all these poses they do jumping pictures and that's great and all but I just feel like I feel like when people do that they're not actually enjoying the place for what it is. I feel like they care more about social media and making sure that they are the focus of the picture by being in the frame and doing some silly pose rather than just taking individual pictures of the flowers. So I just noticed that when I was walking around over there near people, um, there were so many individual flowers next to where people were lining up and I was taking pictures of those flowers because I feel like it would be a very nice picture, but people were intent on lining up for one specific seating area to take a picture with the flowers behind them and everything. And it just really sucks because it makes me feel like they are caring more about their appearance on social media than actually appreciating what is around them, like the beauty around them. And I just don't like how social media has really taken over everyone's lives. And over here are still starting to sprout so it's definitely not as full as over there but 
I think it would be really nice to see the individual ones as they're about to sprout and bloom. They still look really pretty, like that one right here. I like taking note of these individual ones. They still look very beautiful, that yellow one over here. These yellow ones. It's actually really interesting also to be on this side of the field, furthest away from the parking lot, and seeing how much less people there are, right? I mean, these flowers are still just as much in bloom, and it's still so pretty out here, but people just don't want to walk that far for their pictures. It's nice and peaceful on the side. I like it a lot. And that guy is stepping into the flowers. You're not supposed to pass the line. What a bastard. Just kidding. Who cares? <laughs> Hi, puppers. I am finally back from the flower fields. There is some smash on. So I'm kind of hoping that this event will end kind of soon. There is maybe one or two players that I'm interested in watching, but I also figured it would be good to take a little bit of a resting break at home before I go out for a joyride because if I want to do Mount Laguna, that is usually about a three hour ride. So I am pretty tired from flower fields because aside from the drive, it was a lot of walking there. So it was a workout in itself but I am really glad that I went because it's so freaking beautiful. I loved seeing that, but I would never go back again because there's just way too many people. So now I will spend some time. Hi, cute. <laughs> Roof. Roof. <laughs> I gave her a carrot yesterday, her second carrot of her life. And she finished it very quickly. Oh, what are you right, so curious about? Roof. 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 getting ready to ride. Um, I did it a little bit differently today just because I didn't charge my helmet and I have never run into the issue of it running out of batteries but since last time I rode I haven't charged it and I was just thinking I don't know even 15 minutes of charging my helmet might help a little bit. I don't know how fast it tends to charge but I am planning on going for a three hour ride or something like that so uh, without music tends to suck at times, although on the highway, I'm going to be on the highway for like 45 minutes, so it's going to be hard to hear it anyways. It's time to go get my helmet and head out, so I will probably close this out here, and I will see you guys in my next video.